Hey guys, I hope you're all well and safe. It's Jack from Set Fusions here, and today in this video, we are going to be reviewing the Blackberry Bold 9700 in 2020. So, let's jump straight into the video. I actually bought this Blackberry quite a few years back now, and I was so excited to see how it looks in 2020. This phone actually came out in 2009, and you can tell this phone has aged quite a bit. And it still feels strange playing with the phone and the fact that it has a keyboard, but at the same time, that's something that made BlackBerry stand out from the crowd. Talking of the keyboard, the keyboard is okay, however, I felt the keys are a bit too close together for my liking. This is annoying, especially when using something like the BlackBerry Curve, when the keys are much more spaced out and, to be honest, much better to use. But hey, this is 2009, and I feel like this is something people were used to at the time, and it's something that probably wasn't an issue back then. The display is average of phones at this time, with a screen resolution of 480 by 360. You can tell the display wasn't the greatest for a phone, but again, it's 11 years old and it still works. The internet was actually a lot quicker than what I was expected, and to be honest, even if it only had limited functionality, the fact that it still works was good. Of course, when trying to watch something like a YouTube video, then it doesn't work. But hey, that's something I think you should probably expect for a phone that is over 10 years old. Like some of the other BlackBerry videos, I did try to go onto BlackBerry World and again, it didn't work. Something that is probably expected, but if anyone is still somehow able to still access it, please let us know in the comments down below. Moving on to the camera, the phone has a 3.15 megapixel camera, which was okay, not the best, but it worked, although I actually feel like some of the phones at the time were probably worse, so really the camera isn't too bad, but again, it's quite hard when you're comparing it to phones today, but back at that time, it definitely would have worked for you. Overall, I have to say this was a fun device to use, and a bit like our other BlackBerry videos, it reminds me of just how great BlackBerry's once were. Would I use this today? Probably not, but to be honest, I do like looking at this device and it was quite nice just to look at. If I have to be completely honest, I do prefer the BlackBerry Curve and if you haven't seen that video, feel free to check it out at the card above. Did you own this BlackBerry? If so, leave a comment down below and we want to know what your experiences were or if you even had one today. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did it would be great if you can give the video a thumbs up, it really is appreciated and if you want to see any more of our BlackBerry videos feel free to hit that subscribe button. This was Jack from Tech Fusions, thanks for watching, see you in the next one.